After a 9-9 and -9 season last year, the Scarlet Knights have high expectations as they enter their inaugural season in the Big Ten. Honestly, I've been excited since day one since I found out that we we're going to be in the Big Ten. The Big Ten has a bunch of teams that are known and they're all nationally ranked, pretty much all of them. So we're excited to be ready to step it up. Um, being in the Big East, that challenged us, but I think that the Big Ten is really going to show what we're all about and what our coach, coaches prepared us for. I mean, it's a little hard coming back. I haven't played a game in a couple years since I've been hurt, but definitely excited. Big Ten is the best competition in women's lacrosse, so it's, uh, it's really exciting. Hopefully I can perform consistently. Um, stay healthy. I'm just really excited to go out with a bang. Definitely I'm um, getting the chemistry down with one another. You got new teammates, freshmen coming in. So um, more communication, like knowing where everyone is and how everyone else plays. As long as we keep up with those standards, um, we're not looking for a downfall. We're looking for fast transition and we're looking for, we always say low and loud defense. So that's what we try to keep to and it's really paid off for us because now everyone's on the same page and starting to click and it's a perfect time before game day. Uh, we've been challenging them a lot and, uh, you know, just kind of creating different situations in practice that really mimic the goals that we set for ourselves. So we've, we've set pretty specific statistical goals for every game. We've tried to mimic that in practice. So setting drills up to say, what is our statistical goal for this drill? Are we meeting it? How's that going to translate into a game? Things like that. Rutgers lost some good players from last season, but Coach Brand says she has some other players that will play a significant role in this inaugural season. This is Quinn Gauss reporting for Our Vision.